I'm actually really excited about Caitlyn Jenner uh, throwing her hat, if I can say that, into the gubernatorial race in California. Why? Because I think that she really has a chance. Uh, California, of course, is this deep blue state. It never used to be. Uh, it used to be, well, um, Nixon country and uh, Reagan country. It also used to be, by the way, a beautiful and well-run state. It's really sad to see the way in which the left and the Democrats have really destroyed uh, America's most beautiful state. It was a state with, which had a sort of mythology attached to it, a kind of romance attached to it. California dreaming, California girls. I remember when I first saw San Diego with the airplane coming down and I was like, wow, this is probably the closest thing to the Garden of Eden here on the earth. Um, but that's not today's California. And the reason for it is a failure of political leadership, not just, of course, at the gubernatorial level, but all the way with the legislature and the DAs and so on. So California has become rotted in terms of its political leadership. And today, the symbol of California is totally different. Large parts of California are sort of run like a third world country. I mean, just try to walk on a street and in LA these days, you're gonna see shanties. I mean, I feel like I'm in the on a set for Slumdog Millionaire, but it's it's not Hollywood. This is the real Los Angeles. You go to San Francisco, I mean, you see people defecating on the street. Um, I grew up seeing people defecating on the street. I, I guess if I'm ever get really nostalgic for my childhood in Bombay, I just need to go to San Francisco. Uh, and there it is. So this is a, uh, California is now a mess. And it's, you see it in small ways and large. I mean, I now live in Texas. Uh, you walk into the Texas, I mean, first of all, if you go to the DMV in California, you should sort of plan on all day, take the day off. Uh, why? Because it's such a horribly run operation. You walk into the DMV in Texas, and remember, we're talking about government agencies in both cases, but nevertheless, there is a difference between a decently run government agency and a badly run one. In Texas, you're in and out, what, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes at the most. So this is uh, today's California. Now, uh, it's not easy for a Republican to to win in California. I guess the last one was, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, and I got to say that, you know, as an immigrant uh, like Arnold, it's kind of impressive to have a guy running a state whose name he couldn't pronounce. I'm the, I am the, I am the governor of California. <laughs> so this was kind of amazing. Uh, and, and it was inspiring. Um, the problem for Arnold, I think, was that, you know, was that he couldn't get anything done. And, and that's going to be a challenge even if Caitlin makes it. You've got a democratic legislature through and through. So the governor can do some things. Maybe they can, maybe the governor can sort of arrest the apocalypse, slow it down, at least help things go downhill a little better, a little more slowly. Um, and Arnold, of course, came to a bad end. I mean, that, you know, the romp with the maid, it sort of terminated his career. Hasta la vista, baby. But um, now it's now it's Caitlyn um, Jenner's turn. Now, with Caitlyn Jenner, I, um, she put out an amazing, a very good ad, by the way, that kind of lays out the problem, lays out her vision for America. It seems like she still dreams a kind of California dream. Here's a short um, uh, clip of that. Listen. Famed Olympic gold medalist Caitlyn Jenner is now entering a new race for the governor of California. I've always been a dreamer. California was once the envy of the world. We had what everyone else wanted. The American dream grew up here. Yet career politicians and their policies have destroyed that dream. It's been locked away, closed, shuttered, left in the dark, burned down. The government is now involved in every part of our lives. They've taken our money, our jobs, and our freedom. It's actually a really good um, ad, very inspiring. I mean, I I have to confess, I, I mean, I'm not 100% um, comfortable with the, even the concept of Caitlyn Jenner. One thing I find really interesting about the ad, by the way, is that uh, Caitlyn, 
doesn't seem to repudiate her past. And so in the ad, you've got Bruce Jenner and he's, you know, he's winning the decathlon and the crowd is cheering. Um, and so it appears like uh, Caitlyn Jenner is sort of saying, well, that's me too. Uh, it's not the idea that sort of, um, you know, I've always been a woman in a man's body and it was really a woman who won the decathlon, Dinesh. No, it, it appears to be I was Bruce Jenner. I'm now Caitlyn Jenner. Um, and so there's an affirmation here of a sort of changed identity. Um, Caitlyn Jenner has always been a Republican. Well, Bruce was too. And, um, and in the interview that she did recently with Hannity, she talks about the fact that she's, um, she's for Trump. Um, she's for the wall. Uh, she does talk about being compassionate, uh, the importance, for example, of having some solution for um, um, illegals who have been in this country a long time, whose children have grown up here, some way of dealing with all that. Uh, very strikingly, Caitlyn Jenner has come out against trans men uh, participating in, in women's sports. And I think because of her own uh, status as a sort of canonical sports figure, maybe one of the most um, famous athletes in American history, one of a handful anyway, uh, this is a very important stance. And of course, it's drawn some uh, attacks from trans activists because this is a very important issue for them. They, they don't mind wiping out women's sports. Um, they want to affirm the idea that you can have men, biological men, who nevertheless have all the rights of being a woman, use the women's bathroom, uh, participate in women's sports, and so on. I mean, the whole concept for me, as I say, is hard to get my head around. I try to think of myself, well, what if I, you know, claim suddenly that I'm no longer Dinesh? You know, I'm now, you know, Delphina D'Souza, or, um, or if I should use an Indian name, you know, I I'm Indira D'Souza, and suddenly I'm like number, number third in the U.S. Olympic trials in the women's 100-yard dash, and I'm now the women's world chess champion. <laughs> I mean, they'll be sort of rolling her eyes here because I think she's thinking, what happens to me? <laughs> what happens to our situation? Stop. <laughs> anyway, she's telling me to stop. Um, look, I, I'm all the way behind Caitlyn Jenner because, well, number one, uh, Gavin Newsom is just such a horror. He's a disgrace. He's an embarrassment. He's, he's contributed, at the very least, to the destruction of a beautiful state. Um, if Caitlyn Jenner can run a strong race can win over some Democratic votes, can win. Uh, it is only going to be to the good, not just of California, um, but of the nation.